So John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. There has been a lot of good reviews on this. This has been like one of the most anticipated films in the franchise. I don't know what movie that everybody was seeing, but I found it to be boring so bad. It is... Oh, I can't hold it anymore. It was great. It was awesome. It expanded my expectations to the limit. Keanu Reeves returns to the title role. He brings such badassery. So this film was once again directed by Chad Stahelski. I can't tell you how much, how much fun I was having watching this film. I can't tell you how many times the audience has, has woo or whine. Oh, that, that's how I was the whole time. I was laughing throughout most of it too. The, they had like more comedy in it. The set pieces is what you go see these films for. Now, I, I know I said I had some complaints about the last one. The second one was kind of a little bit my least favorite, but it was still good. But as far as story goes, after watching this, you really don't go for the story. I'm not retracting what I said with the last one. I'm just stating that, especially for John Wick 3, you really don't go for the story because for those of you who have not seen John Wick Chapter 2, this will be a spoiler for that one. But this starts like seconds after the second one ended. They put a bounty on his head. He's deemed excommunicado from the Continental. Ian McShane returns, of course, to play Winston. And this starts like right after he makes that call. And he says in one hour. So it shows him traipsing around along the city of New York, trying to find sanctuary. The action just gets so tense. The music, the cinematography work, everything. My expectations level just was just all the way up here. I mean, it was just beyond belief. Beyond. 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 <laughs> Ken Reeves, as usual, he plays such a badass character. He's like untouchable. There was a scene where he was on a motorcycle just... Doing his thing. That's not any, giving anything away because it shows that in the trailer. That was the most badass scene I've ever seen. There's even one on him in a ho on a horse. That was really funny. <laughs> and like just, he just kicks ass and takes names. That's what he does. So it's not really about the story. It's just about him trying to survive. That's it. And it's really for the set pieces and the total badassery that Keanu Reeves brings to this part. Halle Berry, you have her show up, and let me just say this. Halle Berry, will you marry me? <laughs> but seriously, she was she was like a nice addition. You don't get to see her that much, but she was in total badass too. She kicked ass just as much as John Wick did, and just as much as Keanu Reeves did. And this film, I, th I feel like they tried to give the dogs as much as a revenge uh, side as they did with John Wick. I feel like they added the dogs in here just for this fact that they were getting revenge for the first dog, for what happened in the, in the first film to that dog. So I think of this as a little bit of revenge of the dogs. The dogs get, their ha get to have their moment as well. <laughs> so yeah, it's one of those where they expand the world of the high table. You get to find out a little bit more of who these people are. You get to delve deep into the world of where John Wick was coming from before he retired. It's pretty amazing. He goes to this desert to try to get something done, and it's just all a bunch of crazy stuff that happens. It has come full circle, pretty much. This isn't big. This wasn't made to top the last one, but as far as intensity yeah, you can be damn sure there's plenty of that. The action sequences, the fighting, there's even like sword play. There's a bunch of sword play in this. And I could tell Keanu Reeves, he had his head full in this pretty much because half of New York was after him. And before going into this movie, I was thinking to myself, how the hell is he going to survive? I mean, they're playing him off as God. Now, I'm not complaining, but it's like he's untouchable. He's unkillable. Nothing. No one can hurt this man. You want him on your side. If something goes wrong, if you got a lot of bad guys after you, you want John Wick on your side. Trust me. But Johnny Reeves brought such depth, such commitment to that role as he did in the first two. He went all out in this. 
But like I said, my expectations was met just perfect. It was on a level of such high that I was in the clouds. Yeah, that, that was a high joke. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne returns. I've, I've been a fan of him ever since The Matrix. Ever since they both appeared in The Matrix, him and Reeves. So you get that as well. But, you know, there's, there's just so much that goes down in this. It was awesome. Go see it. Parabellum stands for If You Want Peace, Prepare for War. And that's basically what this movie delivered. It lived up to its title, especially by the third act. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, gets an A+. I hope this makes gold. I hope this breaks box office. We've seen Avengers. That's already passed. John Wick, it's your moment to shine. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, give it a guys, share. What did you think of John Wick 3 Parabellum? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave me that comment down below. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace to rip out.